Welcome back to Fate, the Rise of Madness. Go birds. Uh, sure. I'm gonna do sports ball. I mean, he's a bird, so. Ah. He is a bird. <laughs> that that is. It is on brand. I'll mean? give you that. I mean, <laughs> last session. I mean, we're still in the dungeon. If, if you're a white guy, some make it through that is pretty racist. But you know what? Since you're a bird, probably does everyone have a pencil? It's fine. Well, no, I need to Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I gotcha. It's just pan. <laughs> <laughs> pan wind shot. No, what is he? Um, they, they, they found their way into the dungeons of Damodar after some things happened. Uh, you can go back and rewatch that. But the point is, they're in, and we got through... I guess they were already in. Yeah. Uh, and we got three levels three, four, and five. Yeah. Um, a handful <coughs> of funny and, and, and interesting events happened, like. Mm -hmm. So, um, the fourth. Wait. The third chamber was the one where we used the, the, like D &D t uh, the game tiles. Yes. So that room was totally random. And then. We had it, like, once we finally got through it, there was, like, random encounter every time we had to, like, step into a new tile, something mm -hmm. new happened, and at the very end was a guy who cast this big spell that was basically a giant void, of, like, vi void of tentacle monsters that were trying to, like, rape you, or I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it um, was pretty, and, like, everyone was kind of, like, it was like pretty on the outside, and we're like, this is awkward. And. Yeah. They took him out, though. Yeah, we took, took him out, moved on. Next chamber was a room that had like these like paintings that looked like a lounge or like a, sort of like a sitting room type of deal. Mm -hmm. And each of the paintings looked really weird. It looked like something was like off. She's, she's getting yeah, she's, yeah, she's going after Our dog, um, our dog is, uh, sorry. Perfect timing. You'll hear squeaks and growls and stuff. That's not... Any monsters in game, I assure you. Uh, that's our, that's our, 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 our crazy poopy. Which, is, by the way, is not very big, but it makes a lot of racket. But yeah, so. Uh, yeah, the fourth level was the paintings that they had to kind of figure out yeah, where like things into, went. Kind of like Mario 64 style. Yeah. yeah. And like, but like, you could like take stuff out and like, I mean, it was basically a matching thing. We had to match up, fix Ooh, the paintings. I like that. Mm -hmm. It was pretty neat. Um, then the. The last room was, it looked like a just big open chamber. And as soon as we closed the door, it started filling up with water. And as we tried to run forward to get to the other side of the room, we ran into invisible walls. So it was literally a big maze. Ooh, invisible big invisible walls. maze. And so here's the, here's the great role play um, of the week. Uh, when I was playing for you, um, everyone else kind of was able to get towards the end, except for Azora. Who was like try like trying as fast as she could to run, but like the water filled up like three quarters of the room. Was she was literally like, swimming at that point? Yeah. And who had terrible strength, terrible athletics. Yeah. Not exactly moving very quickly. Well, Quetzal can cast fly, and he's like up in like a little gap of air and double moving. As you go back, go, <laughs> my lady. <laughs> Grab her and drag her to safety. Otherwise, she very well probably would have drowned. Give me cool points. I like it. And, yeah. Yep. And Josh was so pissed. <laughs> yeah, it was very funny. Like, he was so mad. Another important aspect of that is that once they crossed, crossed over the threshold that kept the water in, uh, they were immediately dry. So it wasn't like a more sus like sus sopping wet on on your way down to the next level. So you made your way down to the next level and you walked into a field, uh, surprisingly, a field of tall grass. Um, Harriet and Finn being, I think, the only ones at the moment anyway, tall enough to kind of see over the tall grass, which is about six feet tall. It's basically the second Jurassic Park. Yeah, they, yeah exactly. Lost yeah. One. You see uh, a great big... <laughs> Zombie T Rex in the distance. But the really bad one. And uh, some movement in the grass making its way toward them. Oh. 
that is where we are at this very moment. Okay. Now. <laughs> okay, so you used Let's fly. Let's see. So the only fly you used? Get some Is notes. One? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. T-Rex. Let's get some initiative rolls here. Do we heal or just walk straight down? Uh, if somebody casts healing magic, you healed. I wasn't here. I don't believe... I think that there was some healing, but it was noted on, on character sheets already. So okay. you've been healed. Some of you drank potions. Some of you... I mean... Uh, they talked about resting, but I reminded them about a particular passage in there, uh, and they decided that it was probably wiser not to, to rest. So, here we are. Okay. Uh, now, is the ceiling still like stone or <coughs> sky-like? Or the, that's an interesting question. Uh, the ceiling is about forty feet up, and it is. Uh, stone. Okay. Yeah, it's just like a, just a big cave. It just happens to have tall grass. Um, the grass feels like it is real, like you know, living grass. Although it's uh, maybe upon very, very, uh, very, very close inspection, it, it seems like it might also be a little synthetic. Uh, How tall is this T-Rex? Uh, well, it we is. Well, Harriet and Finn have. Oh, yeah. Because tall grass. Oh. It is a huge oh, yeah. undead beastie. Now, I have it a little bit bigger, but that's fine. It's about that size. Okay. Harriet and Finn, if you will, give me perception checks, because you can actually see over the grass. A fail. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, 12. Me too. <laughs> it's plus four. But is it plus stuff? Yeah. Plus your perception, which is good. Six, so 18. 18. Very nice. You can see next to the T-Rex, um, there is a, a patch where there is no grass, like no tall grass, and there seems to be a faint glow coming from over there. Awesome. Mm-hmm. That. Yes. Oh. It's a summer tech. It is. Now, I mean, I don't. Kate doesn't know this yet. Right. Uh, for those of you new to my realm, uh, the magic used in my world is cast using Technos, the magic substance of the realm. Uh, in some locations, it accumulates in its refined format, and it can be used by spell casters oh, it's like uh, without using up spell yeah. slots. In Final Fantasy VII. <coughs> yeah. Kinda, yeah. Sort of. Kinda, sorta. Of. So, but you have to be close. You gotta be close to that to use it. Now that may prove handy once it's over, or we'll see how everything works out uh, for casting healing spells and the like, and maybe get everybody juiced back up. But, <laughs> we'll see how that plays out. Initiative rolls, because we're jumping right into this. That's, Give or take. Those are the ones with dice on it. Steve Bach! From everybody? I, 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 Everyone, yes. Every time I see a dice, I say, this is some ugly fucking dice. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. 14. I don't remember saying, hey, Plus Will, one. give me your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but, thanks. You have a <laughs> Just in case. Oh, I get to do it again? Yeah. I like them. Well, shoot. Oh, holy shit. I got the ones that were It rolled off of the paper and got. You get plus three. Why do I get plus three? Your initiative bonus is plus three. Does Finn get advantage? What? Proficiency? Oh, no. No, my initiative is plus one. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I was. I was in the wrong box. Okay, fifteen it is. What do you need? PHB. Oh, pretty. That's good for Kane. Less good for Mal. I don't remember okay. what level the barbarian is. Uh, she's got a plus nine. So plus nine to She got alert. Uh, alert, but you get a plus, you a plus five. Yeah, it's pretty rad. That is awesome. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm more than willing to try that. Kane has a 25. Oh my god. I rolled a 20, and I'll get a plus five. That's amazing. Nice. So okay. I'm probably going first. And Mal. Uh, Mal has a 19. Beautiful. She has a plus nine. I rolled a 10. Okay. 
What you got? Uh, eight. Eight. Four. Got that. Dirty six. Plank. <laughs> Dirty six, huh? Krishna. Thirteen. Thirteen. You don't have an initiative? No. Oh. So fucking armor and all this shit. Makes sense. Quetzal. Uh, well, this is for Finn. Okay. Finn got nine. Okay. Uh, Quetzal got eleven. Eleven. Why do I have advantage? You're a ranger. Just because. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, rangers do that. Yeah. Rangers do range and stuff. It's a cool ranger thing. Yeah, and that's that's not Arcana. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a, it's a, it's a new. Because I did not play that one. Before. It's a new cool thing, uh, which I think makes it very nice. Yeah, we just talking about this. All right. Oh no. Lights <laughs> out. Not. <laughs> lights out. I was just thinking that. Put your lights. Out. No bueno. What is that? That is a. Oh gosh. Okay. What is it? It's going last. Three, isn't it? It was a three. Minus two. T <laughs> Rex. If it's something like that, is that is that considered a dirty crit or is it just a crit? What? Not crit. Crit fail. You crit fail. Yeah. One. Yeah. Um. Is it ever no. called that or just the hashtag fail? I don't think so. That's an unnatural one. If you roll a one, that's a crit fail. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually never seen Full Metal and started watching it, and it's very good. It's very good. Also, I started watching. Um, okay, he's like. Airbender, Avatar. 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 Oh my Avatar. god, that's like amazing. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's uh, really good. Well, I was actually really surprised. We're getting, we're getting sidetracked, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody okay? Wait on you. Focus. Okay, that's so, fair. You keep saying, oh no, oh no. That's <laughs> fair. <laughs> well, I gotta roll for the Velocirapher. Yeah. I swear I had an IPA. Oh, is that it's in the it's side, in the door. it's in the right side of the door. Also, there's a red cheer wine can in there. Can you also grab it? Shake it up. Grab that for me. Shake it up. I mean, you could. I'll just wait a while to open it. <laughs> the cops stopped me on Myrtle Beach one time while I was walking down the street because I had cheer wine. They're like, is that alcohol? I'm like, no, it's a cheer wine. <laughs> so you're from, the, you're from here. Like, you, you live here. You should you know this. what cheer wine is. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're just like, no. It's literally cheer big, wine. Big bottled in like southern North Carolina. All right. Kane. Yeah. You are up. Uh, so, so Harriet relays that information to us. Yeah, now you can see kind of in front of you, there are a couple of stones, like tall, taller than the grass stones. Okay. In, so in that kind of figure. They, How tall are uh, you? Fin can, like six something. A little over six? You can probably see just, just over the tall grass and see it. Oh, I mean, we can hear that. How far away is this? It's the squares. Did I hear earlier? It you can, sounds like you can hear it. <laughs> um, it's it's see? it's a little tricky to see. <laughs> so the grass is like super super tall. It's six foot tall grass. Yeah. Uh, it helps us All these raptors are deadly. Is, is the grass dry? Uh, yes. Oh, Quetzal short as hell. <laughs> the grass is dry. Yes. Oh boy. Well, are, you, are, are you talking about burning where you are? Okay. <laughs> I mean, well, we'll see how that plays out. <laughs> what you got, Kane? Um, I'm going to. Is that like smooth, like Stonehenge type thing, or is it like rough? Just it's rock? like it's like rough stones. It's not like pillory stones. So okay. you can definitely like skitter up on top of one to right. to get a better. I'm view. going to Let's see where am I? At. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll kind of hang out behind one. Or are you gonna? Um, it's like it's like Stonehenge. I mean, like. No, they're just big stones. They're not pillar stones. Well, I mean, this motherfucker can't climb the stones, can he? No, no, they're like boulders, just like big boulders, big rough boulders. So, so I mean, like, could he walk in between these? Yeah. Yeah. He, he, can, walk over it. he can lift his leg over over those. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Big, big old fella. He's, he's a big old fella. Um, I'm going to I'm going to double move. Okay. Uh, and then uh, my bonus action, I will 
Well, and then part of that movement will try to climb up it a little bit. Okay, you can, I mean, assuming you have enough movement, you can just I get mean, up there. I don't want to get totally, like, I just want to kind of, like, like so, like so you can look it. over. Okay. Yeah. And you and I, you I can wanna... see the, the the tall grass moving. Okay, and I also want to bonus action hide. Okay. Give me that stealth check. Okay. Why don't we just talk to this dinosaur before we start attacking? That's Can you speak to dinosaur? Because that would be wonderful if you did. <laughs> the question right. is, does the undead version understand dinosaur? I don't until like the next level, and then I uh, can speak dinosaur if I want to. So not idea. I'd say. I can uh, assure you that this creature does not understand any languages whatsoever. Fourteen. It's not a beast, so you can't really <laughs> talk to it, huh? Fourteen for your stealth roll. What did you roll a one? Close. A three. Okay, gosh. Oh, I get two. Well, two languages at level seven. That is unfortunate. Hey, they got to roll better than a, better than a fourteen. How does, how does the physiology of the zombie work? I'm gonna get draconic so I can speak the dragons. Huh? He ain't got no goddamn mitochondria. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, where you can <laughs> okay, that's an excellent question. These came in silence. I have a very simple answer. Magic. Magic. Do you believe in magic? In a dinosaur's obvious heart. M- Mal. <laughs> so, um, uh, you guys are crazy. 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 Well, then, I really hope no one watches we'll have... us. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? It's hilarious. <laughs> You're so dumb. There are way worse jokes than some 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 other campaigns that I listen to. So I assure you, we're right on par. Yeah, right, right, right on par there. with everybody yeah, else. Right, um, Mal is going to circle around close to me because I don't want to do the same thing with both characters. Mm-hmm. Eight. And she can hide in the tall grass. Yeah. Is there any trees over this way, or is it no. just like the, the ones that we can just see? Just the ones that you can see. Okay. It's mostly just like tall grass. How does that tell that to you? I drink it. I was going to drink it last, so now I already have a few little bugs. Yeah. Well, I need to roll for. Uh, right over there and I need to roll for Azora. Try to hide. Azora. Azora. Is it hide up in there? Up in the grass. Alright, give me that roll. In the grass. <gasps> We need Snoop Dogg Mary in this. We need a Snoop Dogg yeah. like Mary yeah, in this. I got rid of that one. Yeah. Under five. That's cool. Under five and into the line. I rolled a one for Azora's initiative. That's funny. Quetzal flies. I forgot Azora's to roll that. Nice. My bad. Oh, that's, that's exciting. No, I got it. Okay. I, yeah. I just, I forgot First to tell you. I appreciate you. Val is a 16. He's still in the... Okay. Hot pocket like it's hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Very wow. Um, Harriet. And I'm gonna say that for purposes of this, moving through the tall grass isn't it doesn't really hinder your movement or anything. It's just grass. Are there fleas? Are there chickers? Uh Lost this deep underground? No. Mm-hmm. Certainly not. There are no bugs. Excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's some kind of like simulation, but not but is, but not. Ah. So Popeye is a bonus action, right? You can move Popeye independently of you. Can I send Popeye over top to see what's to see if anything else is like? Do we know that these are there? Yeah. Okay. You, you can see the movement. Can I? Grass. Is it? Would it be? Would it be good to send Popeye over top just to see how many? Or sure. I mean, is that that's is that a reasonable. wasted move? Or uh, <laughs> I know. So, so well, hang on, hang on. So so Popeye can move independently of you. Okay. On your I keep, turn. I keep getting that so confused. The only thing that <laughs> it's a bonus action to have him attack. Oh, okay. But he moves independently of you. Okay. So you can have him fly straight up and look look down. I think I want to move up to the front boulder and hide behind that. Okay. So I'm right at the front lines. Sure. Uh, you have the movement speed to do that, so go ahead and do that. Right there, okay. Yeah, and give good. me a. St- uh, you're, so you're going to use your action to hide, uh, which is fine. Is there anything else that could be done at this point? <laughs> not really. Um, not unless you wanted to use a ranged that's weapon. Terrible. That's fine. I'm not. That's yeah. just not. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay, so stealth check. Is that what it's called? Yes. So roll your d20. It's a 10. 
You rolled a 10? No. It's, it's a total ten. of 10. It's okay. a total of 10. Well, it's just, Harriet's kind of big, and hard, it's, yeah. it's a little hard to hide. So that's, <laughs> She is like... I think, <laughs> yeah. There's like a stick, you just stand behind it. You don't see me. Yeah. Just, what, does ah. blur, what does my blur do again? It, it makes you harder to hit. It, okay, yeah. so I should save that for... So, I have a question about that. Yeah. So, blur, it is always active on her because of her character type, right? No, she can use it up to three times per long rest. Yeah. Or it, short rest. Does it work the same way in 3.5? Blur is less. Does it work the same way? I don't know. Uh, no, because 3.5 doesn't have advantage or disadvantage. Okay, because... Uh, they just do bonuses. That's okay. I don't remember, because it's been... Forever. Like, a decade since I've played 3.5. Or however long it's been since 4.0 came out. Yeah. Um, we didn't pass that after. We did. And it, but yeah. by the way, the uh, Pathfinder 2 playtest books are out. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think we'll make that switch, but it's cool and neat anyway. They actually introduced 10th level spells, uh, which I'm sure are ridiculous OP. and OP. And like, I'm good. I'm good on that. It's all you got 9th level spells. It doesn't say how long it lasts. Yeah, Your blur? Yeah. Blur for you lasts as the spell, which is one minute. Okay. Yeah. Which is ten rounds. Okay. So you can total, and it's a bonus action, I think, for you to cast it. Well, shouldn't I wait, uh, though? You can. Yeah. Until we're right. in. Probably. Yeah. Well, so, can I send Papa, can I, can I ask Papa to go up to see if there's anything that we mm -hmm. should yeah. be aware of? Yeah. Okay. So Papa flies up, and uh, you can use... Uh, we'll, we'll have it for now function this way because uh, you're not using your bonus action to blur, right? Or to have him attack. So you use your bonus action and you can see through Popeye's eyes. Oh, oh so nice. Okay. Kind of, yeah. So he kind of flies up and it's a, it's a little bit disorienting because yeah. it kind of like bobs because he's like kind of fluttering. Yeah. Um, but you can see now that where the grass is moving, you can definitely see velociraptors, or like big lizard looking things. However, they aren't fleshy. Um, they have like, they seem to be made of metal and wood, and they have like gears and other kind of, of like. Hello, Robo. Well, that sounds workings. fun. Yeah. It's very reminiscent of Clank, actually, Ooh. Uh, in terms of Evil. like format. Evil. Okay. Yeah. We should talk to him. I yell, Bing, Bing, Boo, Boo, Krishna. Krishna. No, these are not that sentient. I'm going to get behind a big old rock. Which one? Right beside Harriet. Okay. Go ahead and move. Krishna. Are you going to try and stealth? Or are you just going to hang out and wait? Okay. I figured, guess that would be. Power is not still. All right. It is their turn. Which is to say, the little Velociraptor guys. Their movement speed is 40 feet. So, move them up. Uh, that one's going to dash. Actually, hang on. Hang on. Your stealth was 14. Mine was 14, hers was 16. <laughs> I rolled. Those, those two were pretty obvious. Yes. Roll the 14. Okay, so. Ooh, hey, that's fun. Thankfully, that was a perception check. Yeah. Uh, I got a natty. I got a natty. So, the one by the pool is going to rush over to you, Kane. Because you're closest. But he's hidden. Is that eight squares? Good. Can't hide from the smells. The other, the two, the two in front of the zombie T-Rex, uh, which, by the way, as you get closer to it, you can tell that it does not smell good. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's also true. Uh, they're going to move up to Harriet. Well, actually, move that one up to Harriet, and the other one's going to move up to Krishna. Come on, motherfucker. And then the other one, at the very end, is also going to move around to Actually, Krishna. would it, 
if it were doing a straight line, it would probably end up right here. Okay, then it's going to go after Harriet. That's fine. Or if it could go there and she could. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. And the other one's going to move up Try. definitely at <laughs> Krishna. <laughs> Over here? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Just. Good. Make my job easier. Eight. Oh, not quite there yet. Not quite. Cool. All right. I get plus ten against dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Harriet. How tall are again? Like six foot? Like, like eight foot eight tall. Foot. Yeah. Okay, cool. Harriet's armor class is what, 17? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, guys. That's relevant because if you roll under a 17, it's not a hit, right? I have to match or surpass. Okay. So if I roll a total of 17, it hits. It is it. Okay. Or, or above, yeah. So it does go both ways. It does. Why are you writing something neat? Okay. Well, that's good loss. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I can't raise that. Luckily, I know how to play Barbados. Actually, I can, that's what I can, I can just say. Pull that out. Oh, yeah, yeah. right now. Eli has nope. that chicken scratch. Sure don't. Okay. He just writes in person. My dear. If he just wrote in print, it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. So. Who writes in cursive anymore? Or is it dead language? Oh. <laughs> hey. Pack tactics. Yeah. That's handy. Pack yes, a Velociraptor gets advantage, so that's uh, gets advantage on an attack right, roll against a creature if at least one of its allies is within five feet and the ally is incapacitated. So because Popeye might die. He only has twelve. Popeye's thirty feet up in the air. Okay, good. He needs to just stay make, here. make another. Popeye is safe. Good thing dinosaurs can't use bows and arrows. <laughs> All right. So you get hit with the first bite, and then the second. Let's see. Bite and claws, okay. No. That's, a, that's an 11, okay. Other one. That's gonna hit, that's 17 plus stuff. And then that is an 18, so you are hit a total of three times. Two bites and one claw. Which is a total of 2d6 plus 1d4. Plus Question: six. We still we we haven't healed fully, right? No, we probably not. No. Okay. We have had no but rest. you have a, a nice thing coming up soon that it was very nice and yeah. allowed you to have. And money does not grow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know what I actually have here because I have fifty-seven on one point and I have seventy-two on another. I should probably go with the lower one, right? I think seventy-two is your maximum. I think. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. We need to reprint this then because it's going to confuse me. Okay, fair enough. So you take a total of. I, I rolled pretty good damage. Uh, 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 6 is 17. It takes 17 points of damage. I'm down to 40. Um, the other boss raptors are unable to attack at present. Yeah, that one has like sharper edges or something. Let's say. These are Eleven the same. is Quetzal. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Uh, all right, Quetzal. Uh, I'm going to fly. Okay. This one's my metal straight up. Uh, that works for me. Uh, I think that's all I can do. I think that's an action, right? We happen to have a bottle cap or something? Somewhere? Mm, where they're throwing away? But his character is already flying. <laughs> well, that's true, but this is a signifier. <laughs> this indicates that I'm flying. Yeah. And that's all I can do because I can't. Uh, that's, that's oh, because that's your action to cast. That's my okay. There you go, move anywhere. You just fly yeah. straight up? Yeah, I'll fly, actually fly over. Let's see what else. 35? Shit, no. I'm gonna have. You have more when you're flying. 90. I'm just gonna fly like up over here and kind of top the dinosaurs. You need 30 feet up. <laughs> the ceiling's 40 feet up. Yeah. Like, like are you all the way up at the top? As close to the top as I can get. Okay. Tell them right there. Well, I'm not worried about him. I can run away from him. Yeah. I'm going to pop this little dinosaurs. <laughs> fan. You have opposable thumbs. Can't do shit. Fan. Fan, fan, fan. Poopy. Doge. Cool it, Doge. <clears throat> Doge. All right, this is mine. Uh, yeah, it is. She, yeah, she wants you to throw it, but she won't give it up. Give it up. Just prances around. Quit prancing around. That's so loud. Yeah. What are you doing, Finn? Oh shit! Look around, Finn. I don't want to run, Finn. Uh, well, first of all, he's gonna rage. 
Sit Wait, down. No, you can't. I won't, I won't get to there in time. It's at 40 feet. That's me, right? From this guy? Yeah. Mm hmm. No, nope. he can't make it, but he can double move. He get up in somebody's business. Well, I can get yeah. up there. He can't double move. I don't want to double move. Mm-hmm. He could do that. He uses like... action to fly. No, no not, I'm fan. He's fin. Oh, you're fin. He's fin as well. I do yeah. not want to double move, I don't think. Uh, I'd say just go there and like ready your action in case you yeah. ready your action. Okay. Here. And just like, go there. Yeah. Get in there. Clank's next, by the way. Yeah, right. I got <laughs> My turn's going to be very simple. Okay. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. That's it. That's all I can do. I in my action. enlarge. Oh. I Shay. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's easy enough. And I move next to my dragon friend. Krishna. Krishna. Okay. But like behind him. Okay. To the to the back side a little bit. The other side. The other side. Uh, you're. So you're kind of like got one one foot up on on one of the stones. Yeah, yeah like ah. Uh, okay. Uh, and then I just wait. <laughs> okay. Like preparatory, preparatory. Very good, Izora. Let's see what Izora is going to do. I should have thought about this before, but that's all right. What do you have, magic wise? Firebolt's fun. How many spells has Azora used? I think we're gonna stick with cantrips for now, uh, just because you know, got to spare. I mean, got to spare things. Azora can't hit forty on a with a cantrip. <laughs> Cantrip rolls twenty. Uh, she's going to move over to the rock. If she can, hang on. One, two. Five, so she'll get another rock. That'll be fine. Help, help yourself, absolutely. Yeah, have some. And she's gonna firebolt one of the two Velociraptors near you. Period. Okay. And I believe it's at this point it's two bolts, so they gotta make two separate attacks. Yes. Uh, which is a 13 and an 18 plus 10, uh, which very definitively hits. Uh, and those do both do 1d10. All right. Nine plus, no, I think it's just nine. I don't, I don't think that you get bonus bonusness to that. In so far as I understand it, so. Hello. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. That's number two. Okay. Would fire! Coconut ones? Nine fire damage. Oh, wait, put it in coconut stuff and they're delicious, but we hmm. ate all of those. Oh! T Rex time. Oh, I think we got. Good thing T Rex does not have AoE attacks. I was actually thinking. What's that. AoE mean? Area of effect. Mm-hmm. The whole area is like, were awesome. <laughs> like everybody it attacks everybody. Like, yeah, like, well, no, it, yeah, it's like like a fireball that mm-hmm. blows up and it, it'll affect a big area and do a lot of damage. It does an AoE attack. Okay. All right. It has a movement speed of forty. So it's going to rush forward. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Brilliant. Thank you. As a bonus action, the Tyrannosaurus zombie just charges a normal zombie. You guys messaging each other or something? <laughs> the group chat. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. Put it right in front of... Ooh. On top of them? Sure. Just pooping out zombies? Blech. Well, you spit it up. Zombies. Now, Wait, hold up. when it does this, <laughs> I have to roll initiative for the zombie. Who the hell is making these dinosaurs? Ooh, the zombie goes at the same time Harriet does. 
I can't imagine Remember a situation that. in which I'm like, hey, I should make a zombie dinosaur that also spits up zombies. All right. Mm-hmm. Normal zombies. Now, this 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 effect, uh, after it happens, a d6 must be rolled. Would somebody else like to roll that? Do you want me to roll it? I'll roll it. Okay. Two. 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 Great. Good. And if it's happened naturally, then why are we trying to interfere with nature? I mean, if the zombie dinosaurs are supposed <coughs> to live, you know, why are we messing with that? Can't mix take and all. All right. Very, very good. It's going to make two attacks. One with its bite, and one with its tail. Ooh. All right. I may have to turn this down a bit, but we'll see what happens. All right. Um, it's going to try to nip at... It's going to try to bite Kane. Did you perceive how you see me? Nope, sorry, you didn't see you. Ah. Roginess for the win. Yeah. What was your stealth roll? It It was 10, wasn't it? No. Yeah, it was 10. I had a 9 and it's a plus 1, so 10. Alright. So, it doesn't see you either. (laughs) (laughs) But it sees Finn right behind you and is going to try and bite him. <laughs> All right. Twenty five feet of reach. Is drooling huh? dropping dead flesh on you and shit? <laughs> Man, Gross. A, he's a big old dude. Okay, that's he's fine. Sixteen. That's, that's fine. Well, I rolled an eight plus ten, so that hits. That's a damn shame. <laughs> yes. Oh wait. Um. Uh, uh, as my action that I ready, uh, use rage. Use what? I, I was re- I had an action ready to attack. That's my so, rage. Well, you have to specify. Oh, you specify. Okay, two to rage. Okay, that's great. Yeah. That's an action. Okay. Is that an action? It's a bonus action, but oh, you can yep. step it down. That's fine. Hot step. Can I also attack? Nope. Okay, well, I'll just rage. Let's that's a good idea. Half damage. That's a good idea. Rage against the dinosaur. Okay. You are medium or smaller, so you also become grappled. That's fun. Not swallowed, but grappled. Grappled to be angel now. Like the lawyer. Well, in Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. 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 The strength save? Is save for that? Uh, it will be on your turn. Okay. <laughs> on against him, I should say. Oh. <clears throat> As automatically you grapple? Yep. Auto grapple. And. I believe there's something <laughs> that the Barbarian has that eliminates that. A big fucking sword? No, that Literally. prevents grappling. D12. A big sword? Okay. Alright, here we go. He's got a plus two great sword. He does. I gave it to him. You did. And that's fine. Nine. Wait. This is goddamn brothers. Maybe no. we can turn the rappers against that's the dinosaur six. like they did in Jurassic Park 3. Nine. <laughs> I put my hands 15. out. Chris Pratt Fresh on Chris Pratt. <laughs> so he would he would have taken. 28 damage, but he's raging, so he only takes 14 damage. I'm mad. The tail, even a blue one. The tail yeah. is going yeah. to swing around and go at Krishna, because I can't attack the same creature. It's going to hit the dinosaur with both attacks. Attacks. But I am grappled for it. Because he's drunk. Oh my gosh. Drunk. Dress World 2 is a plot with such Yeah. I haven't seen that. Oh I haven't either. Uh, that is a total, Krishna. Of 25. Jesus Christ. Does yeah, that hit you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay! I can never hit you. Ever. I like I like hitting you. In game, obviously. <laughs> Not in the RLs. Because, you know, I love beating on you. Uh, I'm pretty sore today. I'm blessed. Well, so I'll probably do alright. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a very sadist uh, realm. <laughs> Otherwise... <laughs> uh, okay. Where are you? Yeah, Hang on, guys. Very, um, I'm getting there. Well. Alright, here we go. Now, this is 3 D8. Right. You got all those nuts in your mouth. <laughs> 12. Salty nuts. Plus, okay. 19 bludgeoning damage. What the fuck? Mmm. This is bad. <laughs> it's not good. But I can lay my hands on myself. 
When I think about you, dinosaur, I touch my sword. <laughs> <laughs> That is its go. Top of the round. Cain. Alright, um. That son of a bitch is going down, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna smite that motherfucker. Oh. I'm going to. I'm gonna level 2 smite that motherfucker. No show. I'm going to disengage. Mm -hmm. Bonus for my bonus action. And for my. Move action, I want to, since I'm like halfway up this one, I'm wanting to sort of, kind of like acrobatics to like jump on top of this one from there. Yeah. Do I need to roll for that? Yes. Is it a very difficult roll? No. It's only a 10 foot gap. Cool, I rolled a 16. Yeah, you're totally good. Plus my yeah, you're natural. Fine. You're fine. Yeah, and then also I want to jump back to this other one. So another. Yep. Alright, that's going to be an 18 total. Yeah. You're fine. Okay. Bloop, so, bloop. Very anime jumpy style. Yeah. Like, lay, laying down like... Yeah. Shinobi. <laughs> yeah. Like, no noise was made at all. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to... Fought in his general direction. That. Still part of his bone. Especially that. But first, I'm going to uh, sling... Dagger at this one. Okay. The one that has already taken fire damage. Excellent, yes. Yeah, okay. I did say grass on fire, good. No, um, the grass is on fire. He is not taking the within so melee range of anybody. <laughs> I mean, he's in our melee there range, but we're not in his. Shit. Uh, for well, you're in his, but... So, I, I, when I, when I'm he's not his, in yours. Yeah, when yeah. I, or he's not in any of my Correct, teammates. that's, that's the correct. Thing. Yes. Which is why I'm not attacking him. Okay. So I'm going to attack the one that has been hurt okay, already. Sorcerer spells. Um, I'm going to throw regular daggers, not my enchanted ones. Okay. Um, and since I get dose, so we'll go ahead and let's, uh, roll for that. It's a one on one of them and a ten on the other. So. What's your total? Is is that the total? No, I mean one of them is a natural one. Oh, well, we'll get to so, that. Yeah, so we'll get to that. Oh, yeah. that one. Uh, total is an eighteen for the other one. Eighteen hits. Okay. All right. So you want me to do the damage first? Yes. Alrighty. We'll have that one hit first, and then we'll have your percentile serendipity roll to see what happens with your natural one. Alrighty. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. And it is possible. To hit on a natural one if you roll between ninety-five and hundred. <coughs> on your on your percentile roll. Too bad Alchem is not playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I love you. <laughs> if you're watching. That's a ten. He's Plus six, that's sixteen. He is damages. flipping off the camera. Oh yeah, it's super dead. <laughs> super dead. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> that. So <laughs> your your dagger yeah. flies into this. This Foster Raptor and uh, Harriet, who's very close to it here, is like a shatter, almost like glass shatter. It's just a shatter. And you see, Harriet, you see when this when this nice. robotic beast <laughs> collapses, uh, a sort of lightly glowing goo ooze out from it. Artek. It was Ooh. it was powered by a, a little magical interior cylinder, apparently. Uh, and he and broke it. it. Uh, now, for the one, let's see what you roll on your percentile, my friend. Right. All that song is because he yells sex like eight times. If you roll bad, you'll probably end up stabbing <laughs> yeah. Harriet. Yeah, so don't roll bad. <laughs> or Finn. I guess we'll see how that plays out. Quetzal is too high. Don't count. Roll on your bad Yeah. Quetzal's up in the air smoking his bubble tongue. I'm serious blasphemy here using two different... Oh, that's 59. 95. 59. It's 95. Just a bad miss. Yeah. Dagger goes flying off. Cool. Mal. Mal. Alright, Mal is. Did you find it? No. It might be that. Here it is. Back in the ah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Alright. Good, good, good. So. 
Mal. <clears throat> Mal is hidden? Yeah. So she can actually, assuming she has the range, can totally sneak attack the T Rex. Okay. She's unnoticed. Yeah, we're totally doing that. She got, she only gets one dagger attack. What's her, her range? Her range, uh, thirty sixty. Thirty sixty. So sixty might be pushing it. Check and see that distance was. So she may have to creep up some. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, I just got screwed up with this little thing. Four, five, six. Okay. So there's thirty. So if she moves up a little, she won't have disadvantage when she throws. Okay. Right which is there's... good. Yeah. Now, uh, she's still hidden. For for that small amount of movement, I wouldn't. I'm not going to make you re-roll stealth. I can, but. I mean, what a gracious deed! You are a generous are. god. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try. Ah, my phone's asleep. We'll switch it up. Let the other one fall asleep. There. Yeah. So she's still just three I just, right, so I just hope the T-Rex doesn't crit on any of you guys because that's heinous damage. Yeah, yeah it'd probably kill me. Um, <laughs> that advantage on the throw? Mm, Not in... Uh, oh, yeah, because you're hidden. Yeah, yes, it would be. Okay. Wait. I'm going to get out of here. Yep, yeah, you have advantage and sneak attack. So let's see if you crit. Um, let's see, that is a... 17... Yeah, oh yeah, that way hits. I mean, that's the total. Like, mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, huge creature, really low AC, right? Yeah, it's just a meat bag of hit points. Yeah, that's, that's about that's par for the Yeah, most. yeah. Alright, so. Roll them damages. While you're rolling them damages. Literally the same. Next oh, up is Harriet and the Zombie, which sounds like a funny <laughs> children's novel. Oh, we don't both know. Harriet and the Zombie. <laughs> PG-13. <laughs> Harry, it's a Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatch. She likes Her best friend's a zombie. <laughs> zombie named Steven. <laughs> no, Jeff. Jeff. Okay. Mal Dave. also <laughs> damages damages for 16 on her snake. Oh, tank nice. <laughs> I need to get some more water for us. Yeah, it's a zombie. I can wait for a couple minutes. What do you think, Jeff? Should we go on an adventure? <laughs> 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 you know what to say. Uh, Harriet, I'll let you go ahead and go first because the zombie's slow and dumb. Okay. Like Jeff. Yeah. So, am I, am I in position to go for one of these little dudes or should I go for the big dude? You can, you have enough movement speed to do either. Oh. Which would be best, guys, to go for the big dude or the little dudes? Well, I'll spend the desk and uh, bonus action hide again. Yes. Give me that roll real quick. Uh, 14 plus 10. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, I don't think that, that they can roll high enough to see her, Excellent. which She's, is fine. So, is I would recommend, way out in the open. Yep. given the beastliness of the creature yeah. ahead in front of you. I would recommend, number one, that you use your bonus action to blur. Yes, definitely going to do that. And that you attack the big guy. Okay. Yes, so the blur happens because it, it's, it's, it's just a thing that happens. Yeah. And then she, so move her up against the, the old T-Rex Seaman. Like here? Yeah, you can climb that, up there and wallop him. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. That's good. And then this. Mm -hmm. Finn is currently grappled by the thing, so. Which total? Hey, what is this club, plus? Is this plus closer. anything? Yeah. Plus your maul to hit. That's a plus one or plus eight? Plus eight. So, do I get advantage? No. Okay, boo. It's 12. <laughs> 12 hits. It does. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's a huge beastie. Okay. I will tell you now that its AC is 11. Okay. Meatbag. You almost uh, missed it. Almost but you missed didn't. it, but I didn't. So that means oh, I roll like other stuff, awesome. right? Hmm? It means That's I roll 11. other stuff? Yes, it means you roll your damage. Two birds. Yeah, you got me. birds. Now, blur for you. Mm -hmm. 
is not concentration because it's a racial ability. It just runs for a minute. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so maybe like, next turn you might think about doing Hunter's Mark. What does Hunter's Mark do for me? It lets you do an extra 1d6 per hit. Oh, okay. And, and amongst other things, but for all for combat Ten. purposes, that's it. 10 damage. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Can Popeye do anything? You use your bonus action to it's blur. To blur, yeah. right, okay. I'm, I'm trying to keep a little bit better track of, of who does what damage and how for the book. <laughs> I guess it'll be a little easier that way. Uh, okay. Good job. The zombie, which is in here. Oh my gosh. I kind of just don't want to mess with these guys, but I need to. They're super weak. <laughs> I think their armor class is eight. <laughs> but they're kind of hard to kill. Just because, you know, reasons. Zombie. Okay, zombie is going to move up. It's going to kind of scoot off the rock. Probably fall on its face and get back up. And then move over and try to grab it. Harriet's foot. Is it this one? Yeah. It's kind of scooted over to you. Zombie. Yeah. Oh gosh. Super just did not want that thing anywhere near me. Nope. Sam. <laughs> nope. No bueno. Huh? Ten plus three. It's not enough. I don't think I. The zombie would have to roll a twenty to hit Krishna. Yeah. As get an ad for some beach. Have to. Which is, speaking of Krishna, it's your turn. Excellent. Might. Can I flank this old son of a bitch? Is, it, is this square right here represented by him? You can get over there. It's not flanking, but you can get over there. How's it not flanking? You have to be on the other side. Yeah. Like, over there. You can get across from uh, Yeah. He's a big he beast. Does he get the pack bonus? No, he doesn't have pack bonus. That's just the boss reference. Sorry. Excellent. I, don't, I think she was still there. I just moved it by accident. Well, I'm gonna at least get over here and hit this whole song, bitch. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, when you move, you'll, that, that one will get attack of opportunity. But he can try. That's right. Uh, they both will, actually. They can try. Uh, we'll see. Well, they're both gonna get it. Let's move it that way. Nope, and nope. Nope, you're good. Ah, uh -huh, song, bitches. <laughs> What's your movement speed? Nope, nope, um, nope. Normal, it's 30 feet. So you can go. If you want the flank, you want to get behind him. Yeah, I didn't know if I could, I could, I could actually do that. Well, rather than going around this way, you can go around that way. You just go he over. Attacked you. Yeah, 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 because he attacked you anyway. So just go. He tried. You might as well just go you're through here, the middle. So, mm -hmm. so I can get it back around this way? Yeah. Much? Depends on. Oh, hang on. Five, One, 10, two, 15, 20, 25. I can't see these lines. 30. 30. You can get right there, yeah. Wow. And that, I will say. So the way. Okay, flanking is weird. Um, and with larger creatures, it's actually technically a little bit easier to flank because the way that it works, at least the way that it Draw works. A straight line through. Yeah. So each corner of, of the square you're on has to pass through the creature's space and attach to a line of another adjacent creature's square that they're on. Uh, and you have achieved that, I do believe. So. You will have advantage, as will Harriet All right, going forward. Some bitch, I'm gonna stab him with balls. Well, uh, reptiles balls don't point. have balls. They have cloacas. Well, they have the cloacas. Like, like yeah. there. <laughs> it's really weird, and this one uh, is pretty nasty, messed up down there. Yeah. Uh, and oh, I, I forgot to do there. something. Got to add his balls. <laughs> no, um, we're gonna we're gonna do a little. I'm sorry about this, guys. We're gonna do a little bit of retroactiveness, ness, ness. Um, Harriet, Kane. Harriet, you're dead. And <laughs> uh, actually, basically everyone but Malin is Zora. Give me uh, Constitution saving throws. I'm in the air, like 40 feet. Mm -hmm. so I'm like 40 feet in the air. Like 40 feet in the air. Some stinkiness. Is that with a 20? Oh wait! Yes. Does that count as a poison? Because I can't be poisoned. Oh, it is not a poison. Damn it. 
That is a. Well, I was rolling this one. Oh. Oh. Now I gotta Can look. you move that camera? What, this one? No, that one. Thank you. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you try to get out of it, Bob. I don't know. I'm trying to get out of it, too. So. Years of insults and terrible food <laughs> have given me resistance to their effects. Resistance to poison? It's not poison. What is it? It's heinous smell. <laughs> it smells like heart that sick ass. Huh? Does that affect me? No, you're good. Oh, yeah. He's good because he's a robot. You don't, don't have to breathe. breathe. You're yeah, fine. Breathe. You Bruce don't breathe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Be good because I rolled a three. So, I mean, yes, they do. <laughs> oh, okay. have yes. They have the little slits in their beaks. I don't have a nose. What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> There's no way you can cook without cool. a nose. You're good. That's okay. What yeah, did you? 21. 21's great. I got an 18. That. What are you bitching about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have to get to the trouble of rolling. <laughs> Krishna. I got a three. Three, okay. Um, I'm dead. You're not dead, but um, you have very intense nausea. Uh, so this, which in your case, because that because you're now flanking, kind of works out. So for you, it's just going to be a straight roll. Because that would give you disadvantage on your attack. So like you're starting to like, get this like weird little sweats in your... Like, Swallowing yeah. a lot. And yeah. Oh, like, dang, guys, like, what like you're salivating oh, really God, heavily. I hate those. Oh, I know. Uh, it's like I you're guess, so my close. When I start doing that, she knows I'm about to throw up. Like every time she's like, oh, shit, we gotta pull over time to throw up. I'm just like, no, alright. Oh, okay. Alright, that's good. <laughs> 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 yeah. Pulls over and says, get out of the car. 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 All I gotta do is go over here where I'm left for dead. Uh, and second one hits, I think. Is that a five? Well, five. What are your totals? Um, 16 and 13. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Eat shit, motherfucker. He's about to die. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that's, I'm about to For, get your hands as long as I don't roll one or two. That would be great. That would be great. Alright, I'm going to hit him with a level two spike. Oh, beautiful. And since he's undead, he gets an extra D of damage. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, 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 that delicious radiant. Yeah. 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 What's up? No, he doesn't. Oh, you lost that because yeah. he's, he's a stank-ass motherfucker. Spain. Oh, that's a little... 5, 10, 12, 19, plus... 5, 24 points of damage on the first hit. Oh, gosh. That's beautiful. And the second one, I will just use a level one schmite because we need to save those schmites. Yeah, I'm just going to save mine for easy crits. 12, That's 28. Um, another reason to use one. 33 points of damage. Another 33? Oh, 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 yeah. Goodness gracious, dude. Well, I'm just going to do some meat shilling, though. You must have rolled higher on, on that one. That's actually, yeah, two sixes, two eights. Okay, dang, man. It, sure? uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it was an you, you're starting to see, we love you, Alcuma. you're starting to see, uh, some of the flesh, falling. the flesh begin to slop off of this thing. Excellent. Uh, it's starting to look, it looked bad to begin with, but it's starting to look worse. We'll say that. Ooh. Did you get fucking uh, Quetzal. There we go. No, oh. I'm sorry. Not yet. Ah. Lost Raptors are first. Move the Velociraptors. Oh, Harriet, you're in such a bad place. You're surrounded by yos. So the Velociraptors are gonna do like a like a flanking movement on her. Well, that one's gonna go after Finn because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can I move him to that square? No. Damn. Okay. I feel like you will. Um, Harriet. How you wanna do this? <laughs> <laughs> Velociraptor, how do you wanna do this? You're gonna get bitten. You're gonna get bitten. And not quad, so that's good. And then that's nope. And nope. Okay, so you just get one bite. Yay! It's a love bite. Five. Five damages. Uh, for Finn, just a regular roll. 
That's a 15. I'm sure that doesn't hit. It does not hit. Yay! Long T. Okay. Now, it's quits. All right. <clears throat> uh, we're going to hot pocket this dinosaur. Hot pocket. Are you doing cold damage or fire damage? With the hot pocket, I'm going to do fire because zombie. Why not? Okay. That sounds, that sounds, sounds like right. it's uh, great. Reasonable. Either way, sounds reasonable. But then you just have a flaming zombie T Rex. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not going to hear it. It All right. Uh, so I'm going to load it into my okay. spoon, my catapult. Uh huh. Just launch it. Come on. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a hit. 17 plus 4. So it's mm-hmm. It hits on my. 21. 12 yeah. plus 4, but yeah. You... Uh, He's a roll your something. delicious fire damages. We've got to do something to get a higher bonus for him on those. My dexterity. Mm-hmm. I think we need to be able to say that they, that can be like intelligence based. Forty somehow. Oh. Trying to remember. It's four d six. Actually, it's one more d six because it gets an extra d six at level six. Oh great! Mm-hmm. So five d six. Sweet. Because I got one for the spoon. Oh gosh. And one for the fear. One for the fear. What? The Pope. What? In inevitable terms, the great white note. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? Eins for the right. Wait, my spoon's a one v eight. Five for the fear. Now I'm messed up. Well, stop doing that. <laughs> No, no, never mind. The catapult is 1d6. That's fine. Okay, I got it. I got it. We're good. That's what you get. Look at all the dope. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. See all this. Oh, oh, my God. God. He, 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 he has four sixes and one five. Hold Jesus. on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Take a picture of it. <laughs> Dude, that's bonkers, man. You guys are so rude to my Sammy. That's what you get. Wait, which one is this? The big you got your heart win. <laughs> All right, now, with that high of a fire damage, a go ahead and give me two percentile rolls, please. We'll take the lower one. You're burn yourself. Disadvantage. Okay. Uh... Huh? Check it out. <laughs> okay. He said you're a dirty picture. Sorry, guys. I was standing up, and my midriff space was right up in the camera. All right, so we got two. <laughs> and that's what's going to really bring the news. This oh, yeah, my milkshake. So it brings all the boys to the yard. So, red, red, blue, blue. Right. I got a 72 and a 50. Really? You sent me. Oh. <laughs> you sent me a picture of the dice. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, That's man. amazing, though. See, I told you it happens sometimes. That's really great. That literally is like one of the best rolls you could ever roll in Yahtzee. Yeah, yeah that was oh, amazing. Was like Man, that's, that's tremendous. All right. So, um, that was 29 damage. It was actually 34. Oh, because you add... 33. Good lord, 33. You add your intelligence bonus. That's all. I'm not good. The cheese. Okay. That is beautiful. Absurd, but beautiful. Okay. And you rolled fairly high on your percentile rolls. So, surprisingly, uh, the grass surrounding this large fellow, uh, you, you fellow-ish, you might might be a fellow anyway. Uh, does not catch fire. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Uh, you can tell that the front of this T Rex, like, it, it's been like cut, and most of its guts are kind of hanging out. Right. Not like fin shredded. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Wow, that was so good, Finn. Oh, man. I'm just. Finn is grappled by the old T Rex. Okay. Um, just got him in his mouth. He's going to flex and bust out. Okay, that'll be his action. Damn. Or you just attack it from the inside. I'm going to attack it from the inside. Okay, disadvantage. Stab it in the mouth. 
Reckless. Okay. Reckless is stabbed in the mouth. I mean, it's a pretty reckless uh, situation. It is. So, <laughs> it's a very yeah. reckless situation. It'll, it'll even out. <laughs> Do it. I feel like I feel like Eli would reckless this. That's your character. I feel like he would. He would. He totally would. would. You know he would. I'm gonna reckless. I I know I know he would too. I get this advantage. Because once you have the ability to do it, just do it every time. Do it all the time. I mean, what's he get a plus on his attack? It's a plus ten. Is he using? He's great sword. Is he using that plus two sword yet? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's already calculated it in, I think. Yeah. Plus ten. So you literally You even, you literally can't miss. Like even if you <laughs> you're on the one, but Well, yeah, if you're all the one it, it's it's an auto fail anyway. Okay. Well, I feel gonna... like that the percentile roll should be a higher hit range than ninety five if you're just roll a one. And he gets two attacks. One is a crit fail. You shouldn't hit at all. I'm I'm allowing a a, okay, okay, a okay. narrow chance of hitting okay. again. Don't sass. Don't sass. <laughs> yes, yes, yes sir. Oh, mighty DM. So you're going to do straight rolls for his attacks then? Uh, mm. Yes. Cool. Do it. It's a nine, so it's a hit. Mm hmm. And, and then the second, second one? Attack. It's going to be a 19. So close. <laughs> Damn. Totally accidental. 19, yeah, that's, that is real close. Roll your okay. damages. Yeah. So that's, what, 2d6? Yeah. It just happened to Oh, it's plus a bunch, isn't it? Now that he has a plus 2 sword. Sword. A so hundred bad guys with swords. Yeah. Um, and that was the exact opposite. That was the opposite. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that all ones and twos? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just two ones. Oh, uh, that's that sucks. sucks. Okay. Oh, Finn, 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 Finn. 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 Can he? Does he have anything to reroll ones? Does he have great weapon master? Uh, he does. Except for one. Uh, no, that's the different one. That's the one where you get a crit, an extra attack if you crit. Oh, okay. It, that's great. Great weapon fighter, I think. Okay. Those are two, um, two different things. No. I don't. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, he uses a luck point at that. Let them re-roll everything. Yeah, I'm saving those for a few crits. I um, will, if you want, I will allow a, uh, a plot point spend to re-roll weapon damage. Uh, I'll spend Finn's plot point to re-roll weapon damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so generous, Finn. Good job, Finn. That's a, yeah, a little, little better. better. No, that's, that's a lot better. 11. Uh, 11 plus... It was a 6, so... Yeah. 14 plus... What's the range damage? 2 or 3? Hmm? What is range damage? Is this level? Uh, I think it's just plus 2 still. I think it stays plus 2 for a while, doesn't it? Yeah, until a level 9. Mm -hmm. Okay, so plus 4. So 14, 18, uh, plus 11. 29. 29. Still respect. Okay. Oh, Okay. He's just <clears throat> thrashing with the sword. Get out of here. Okay, so the total was twenty nine. So half of that, because it was two hits, right? Yeah. We'll just say half of that was fourteen, right? Sure. So that means that my zombie's undead fortitude. The difficulty is a DC of five plus the damage taken, which will be plus 14, which is, makes that 19. Um, okay. Constitution saving throw. For No, for the T-Rex. Oh, I like that. Nope. Okay, cool. Uh... So, the the T-Rex kind of begins thrashing around a little bit, and you see the, the, the like, maybe six to ten inches of a greatsword plunge up out of the top of its head. Uh, it kind of loosens its grip, and Finn kind of falls out. He doesn't take any damage. We'll say he's knocked prone, but... Uh, the the T Rex falls over. Hey, dead. Oh. Wow. That's 
off. Well, I guess that makes sense. Because he did it, about... It got wrecked 40 damage. by him. Yeah. Now, when it falls over... Um, you... It no. Hurts. It is... Right into the <laughs> that way <laughs> is just fine. Um, but... It still has the ability to dis to discord zombies, uh, so it died. So one d four, three. So shit. three more zombies burst out from it. I got wings. It's a flood yeah. all over again. Um, <laughs> put, those, put those. Put those. Like, you summon the over there. No, you summon the hide. You summon the horse. Yeah, yeah. and they're Where's gonna go witch? on the same as the other zombies, uh, which is not yet. So Finn, good job. Um, hey, you want me to leave this? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. It could be a feature. Yeah. Climb up on it. Uh, Clank. You see that Finn just destroys this thing, and then a couple of, and it's really heinous. Like they just like crawl out of the goo that is the uh, zombie T Rex. Yeah. Like, like a bird from a newer kind. Yeah. It's yeah. But nastier. Can I try sure. to crawl into the T Rex's stomach to yeah. the zombie? Like a like a tauntaun? <laughs> sure. <laughs> to what? <laughs> to become a zombie. Sure. <laughs> be a zombie bird. All right. You can try. You can certainly try. Right, I'll wait till next. Time. Probably just throw up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Which might I'll be come with a new recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Aged T Rex Z- meat. Yeah. Zombie liver tauntaun. So so Necrotic. Necrotic T-Rex meat. I want to flank the blue one. Oh, you want to kind of shift yeah. around? Okay. Shift around. And then... Move, move him around uh, to, to behind the, uh, the other Velociraptor guy. The uh, blue one. The blue, blue one? Yeah. Now, I, I only had three <laughs> velociraptor minis, so I had to grab a drink. What, right. if I, what if I crawl into the T-Rex, wiggle him over to the black technos, and dive in <laughs> while, while wearing him? Make me about one away. Yeah, we have a zombie T Rex. Well, I turn into a T Rex bird man. Yeah, we're gonna get the leather vest. Mm. Zombie T Rex bird man. Well, we'll you can certainly try. Maybe we'll at least one square back because I'm gonna use a crossbow. Okay. And I'm still flanking if I do that, right? No. No. Flanking's only. Flanking is melee. And I get a disadvantage on a crossbow for being close, right? For being square away. Yeah. Flank, no, flank. like you're okay right there. But if I flank and I use my you crossbow, can't, you can't flank. Can't. Oh, right. You can only flank with melee. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I guess I just used my melee then. So you want to screw up? So you want to screw up? Yeah. Looking back? Do I have that axe of. <laughs> He's just now? up there walking back yeah. and forth, just dancing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing the robot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright. Now Finn is prone. Uh, he technically oh, had good. movement. Do you want him to stand up? Sure. Okay. What the fuck are you doing, Finn? Taking a nap. <laughs> he's, he's like gory. And he has kind of pretty nasty teeth marks on him. That's how you become a zombie, asshole. <laughs> Shoot him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> You're affected now. <laughs> the, uh, what, what, I'm what, guessing uh, the ice damage is a 1d4. No, it's a d6. D6? Yeah. Sick. Nice. El- elemental damage is, is always a d6 when it's added on. Some like specific elemental weapons can do a D10 on crits and stuff, but I guess that motherfucker. And so, why are you doing two D6? Uh, it does a D6 by itself. Oh, okay. The, the other uh, ice damage. And then the, and then the D4 because you're large. large. Okay, right, got it. Okay, okay, okay. So so nine, cool, cool. 10, 12. Uh, do I still get the plus two for the slashing with it too? Huh? What? Yeah, I, yeah, your plus, your plus bonus. Yeah, you get yeah, that. I still get that. All right, so eleven in total. Eleven damages. That's on number four. I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna say you do at least three times that. <laughs> I'm gonna do more than that. Okay, that is clank. It is not dead, but you heard it pretty bad, I'm not and dead yet. and you see ice kind of uh, ripple across its its back plates. Is there a bonus action that you see? Uh, you've already used it, dude. Well, I guess he died or something and went away. So you you unsummoned him. Uh, so I guess I'm him again. Well, for a couple of days. Not for probably not for a long rest. Okay. Yeah. Some I want to use him as like a cannibal one time, like toss him up and just make him crush something. Yeah. <laughs> 
Who, who I choose you? Yeah, that I, my answer by my head. Just for that that would be um, like a like a hoot hoot cannonball special. Yeah, uh, would be like having Quetzal fly up really high and then summon hoot. Well, I have uh, jumping boots, so I could like jump up and just like, like turn around. Yeah, down but Quetzal could fly like two hundred feet up and then That's drop true. it down. And do all There's that. little notice, and all of a sudden, boom! <laughs> 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 yeah, B twelve Quetzal bomber. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty. Be a pilot. Be pretty bonkers. <laughs> Zora <laughs> is going to. Uh, let me see what kind of other spells. That's dead. That's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. I'm gonna get a hat for every occasion. I understand. Get a pilot hat, captain's uh, hat. Uh, so if you only just had Nagri's flower hat from the last game. Well, the mask of the skies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the he decided it was a big pink hat with like a flower in it. All yeah, right. Let's do that. We're gonna do firebolt again on some of the zambos. That was really probably like the most. Start killing, killing zambos. Thing. Yeah. I mean, apart from getting belligerently drunk. Talking to dragon. Yeah. I mean, aside from that, that was the most fall thing. Uh, one. The fact that he, did, that he decided that his hat of disguise was like a flower hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was another just tremendous moment. It was. It was. It was. Okay, here we go. So the first one's going to hit the one that's on Harriet. Or try to, anyway. Ooh. Ooh. No, that actually will hit anyway. Good. Hits. Hits. I think he's gonna focus on that one to try and take it out. Cause that zombie hasn't been hit yet. Uh, 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 where are my D tens? Here we go. Ooh. The zombie is possibly dead. Ooh, nope. It's got one hit point. Oh my god. <sighs> He, uh, she did 17 damage of uh, 17 fire damage to the zombie. Does that have to be? See, I need to find some good. Yeah. Like, okay. Ones that are like. It's not radiant. Like Valentine's Day. Yeah. The day after Valentine's Day. Yeah. And uh, that's all. It, it made it a saving throw. With Zoo Lily, so. No, it didn't. <laughs> Hang on. Cons plus three, 18 is 21. Damage done was 17 plus 5 is 22. That zombie's dead. It's very close, but it's dead. If you'll hand me that Wait, zombie, that's by it you. Already dead? Ah, it's re dead. Better than dead. Oh. Hey, when Sorry. did we go to Hyrule? Mm hmm. It, is, uh, it has become dead again. I don't think you'd be dead if you're already dead. That wasn't Jeff, right? Uh, that was Jeff. Wow. <laughs> yes. T Rex is dead. Kane, we're back to you, Kane. Alright. Um. Okay. Hmm. I have a question for you guys. Yep. Uh huh. The remaining beasties are very easy to kill. Do you want to just move on? Yeah, that's fine. Just okay. assume that we just clean it up. So. To round to again, because they have like twenty something hit points. Sure. AC eight. AC eight. Uh, they're not hard to kill at this point. Uh, for purposes of timing and such, purpose? uh, we're going to say that that is done. Dead. And uh, all dead. We can just leave that there for now. After we die, we totally start just killing each other. Everywhere, nah. Well, <laughs> actually, Izora moves over to the uh, pool, Arctic pool, and is going to start <gasps> casting third level cure wounds uh, until you need it or until that particular pool runs out of spell slots that it can use. Nope. Uh, and we're going to roll that, actually, and it's going to be 2 d10 plus 10, and let's see uh, how many it has. Ooh, 14. So it has 24 total spell levels that it can okay. be utilized for. So she can essentially cast Cure Wounds at third level. Uh, eight times. Eight times. <laughs> yeah. Who's first? Uh, Mal needs uh, about 14. Okay, let's see. Um, let's... Okay, I'm going to use a second level on her. 
I think. I moved it. That's 11 plus five. So. Fully healed. Fully healed, great. Cool. That leaves 22. All right, who's up next? Kane, you good, Kane? Kane is not taking a single <laughs> bit of damage the entire time we've been in. Ah, uh, it's so hard to hit Rose. I need about six. Well, I mean, like, between me hiding from everything and me also having a 19 as Mount Armor class. Yeah. And me also just staying really the F away from everything. Yeah, that's fair. Can me and the dinosaurs can't use bows. Clank. So, so that's really good. Easy. You, huh? I need but oh, well. It would be... Because you have to repair yourself for some of it. Yeah, 25% of 45. So it would be 38. So I need about 10 hit points. Okay. Oh, uh, she's going to cast. All right, 38. She's going to cast at first level. I don't know how your thing works. That's 7. Okay. But that's good, right? Yeah, that's, that's all I need. You're good. Okay. Krishna. I wouldn't be on 19. I would do me last time. You sure? Yeah, I'm a foul. Okay. Uh, Finn, Finn has taken at least 14. Finn is 22. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do... Actually, it might be easier or better for her to just cast it at first level because she gets that plus 5 every time. Yeah. Boom, boom, That's boom. It racks up a little bit better. Are you keeping track of that? So that was 2... Then one, so that's three down so far. Let me make a note of this. Okay, so we got three out of 24 down. Finn, let's see. Eight seven. plus seven 15. is 15, plus another seven, seven is 22, is 22. so perfect. It's another three levels. One, two. Three, okay. Or six down. Quetzal. Oh, Quetzal's good. All right, Harriet. Harriet's down place. pretty far. So. How much do you need? Like total? To get full health. 37. 37, okay. Yeah, Which means that she actually needs to heal 74 points because you're resistant yeah. to healing. Oh. Uh, which is possible. See how many it takes. Okay, cool. Okay. We're so, six down. We've got 18 left. Uh, let's see. And just her and Christian are the only ones that... Ooh, that's time. one. Six. Uh, it's plus nine is 15. Plus another nine is 24. That's one, two, three. Okay. I'll keep, I'll keep the tally. You just told me the number. Okay. You got it? Yep. Ten. Ooh, 13. 10. We're at 57. Okay. 57? 57 so far. Okay, 11? 11? That's enough. Okay. Uh, after that, second 11. Got us up to 79. Great. So, so Harriet's up to full health. health. How many and slots do we still have? This, uh, we've got, I've done 13, so we've got 11, uh, 11 left. I think we can get Krishna maximum. Yeah, and you can see that the, like, fluid level in this little, like, Arctic Reservoir. pool is, like, way down at this point. Um, click, click. You will drink it. Cost her anything. This is a... It's not burning through any of her spell <laughs> slots because because of the presence of that. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and it's it's a pretty good size pool, which is why there's so many spell slots in it. So, um, how much do you need? Nineteen. Yeah. Nineteen. Oh, that's gonna be easy peasy. Twelve. Oh yeah, you're good. That, that only took two. Would, would Popeye be able to heal from it too? Oh yeah, she can heal Popeye. Fine. Or you can heal Popeye. Well, Drink just, it. Whichever, just Drink whatever's it. left over, that would be <laughs> so awesome. Okay. Because Popeye is at 12 and he can be a max of 54. Oh gosh, okay. So, so that leaves, uh, there are um, nine more, here we go. Nine. 
13 is 22, plus 8 is 30, plus 8 is 38, plus 7 is 45. 45, and that's only 5 there, so that leaves us with 4. Four more slots, but we don't need them. So there's just like a little tiny, <laughs> a little and tiny bit of. of so Popeyes will heal now. Are there any handy yeah. spells that, like any buffs or anything that anyone has that? Um. Eh. It's possible. I mean, I don't. Pass the trace. Let me see. Let me see what oh. what Azor's got. That's um. <clears throat> she still has mage armor active, oh, so she doesn't need that. Um. No. Um, if you've used spells, what she might do... How many spells do you use? You used Hunter's Mark once, I think. If I'm not mistaken, you would have it marked. You haven't used any no. any spells down here? I don't I don't think so. Did I use Hunter's Mark on the... Uh, you never did. No. Not on the, the T-Rex. No, last not on either. that one. The very first dude, when everybody else was trapped in a cage. I don't think I did, because I don't think I had to. Oh, the oh, and the, me, you and the swarm and, thing. Uh, yeah. The, the star spawn Hulk. What the fuck? Amber alert. Amber alert. Uh, sorry guys. Bob, what'd you do? That was loud. That wasn't loud. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to roll in a second. Um, yeah, my eyes ain't gone off yet. Apparently my phone does not care about Amber. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Amber. Um... I don't think I used it. I really... Okay. I mean, because I don't... Where would I have put it on here if I did? Your spell list. Which is further in. I just called him a beast. I think it's your. Uh, beast is all I said. Uh, where it shows your spells. I think it's past Popeye. It's towards the back. There Here? you go. Yeah. Well, I've never used this. You've never marked any spells page, off? No. Okay, okay, cool. So no, I so didn't. So then you're good. So what she can do then, what what, what Azora can do is actually recharge some of her used spell slots. Um, which is to say she's used one first, one second, and two. No. No. She's used three first level spells and two and one. Two second, one third. So she's going to use... She's gonna go ahead and use the last four and uh, recharge all of her second level spells. So I need to make a note of that. Cool. Zora recharged second level slots. Cool, great. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, that worked out really well for you guys. All right, on to the next room. We're on topic. We are actually due for the break, but I want to get to the next room so I can, I'll describe it to you cool. and we can kind of, you can think about it, talk about it during the break cool. and see how you might want to approach it. Okay, again, the door opens to more stairs going down. You go further deep underground. Um, it's a little claustrophobic just because of the distance you are underground. By this, by this point, you're probably about 800 feet or so down. Also, a bird, I'm not used to this. No. Bird. But <clears throat> you get to another little opening kind of space, and there's a door, and you walk into the door, and there is, uh, let's see, we'll talk about it now. The door opens into a wide open space, about 50 feet across and wide. Far below, uh, lit by some bioluminescence is a substantial pool of water. Far below, like a couple hundred feet down. Ooh. Cannonball! I wouldn't recommend <laughs> that. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, okay. Still nothing. In the very center of this room <laughs> is an enormous <laughs> pillar. There's an enormous pillar, 15 foot by 15 foot, that has a transparent chamber at the top. To the left of the doorway that you come through is a 5 by 7 oval window that seems to show looking down into the clear chamber. Does anyone read Gnomish? 
Yeah. Are you Jewish? Well, I'm a robot. All right. I can read any. Ah, uh, no. Uh, it's like Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, I'll say no one. See through code. Yes. R two. No. Let me see if he's over reads. Or HK. HK forty seven is the best droid in the entire Star Wars universe. Me and my girlfriend were going through it and watching all of them like back to back to back to back. So good. We started at one, two, three. You mean play Kotor? Four, four, five, six. Huh? You mean play Kotor? I know I do. I used to never play Kotor. I know. No, I, I like that Imperial Droid that they reprogram the Star Wars. Oh, the in the newer Two? ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love that. The one that uh, the one I was in love with. You gotta um, play on PCs, yeah. so you can actually do that. The link was the thing. Patch that actually finishes the game is Kotor. Kotor Gambino. He played him in the new one. Yeah. Yeah, he's Lando. He's Lando. Oh well, yeah. I was talking about Boba Fett. Oh yeah, well he's hmm. he's the owner of the robot. Oh, Are we talking about the same movie? Star Wars, right? Yeah, yeah. The, well, one, the, the, the Star Wars droid, the one they were programmed. What was his name? Wait, oh, oh in, in Rogue One. Yeah, yeah. That oh, was that was um. <coughs> he, he was my H two. Uh, uh oh, okay. He does not. She does not speak. No. Cool. Okay. That's, oh, that's, that's fun. Just, All right, great. It's like, do you know what the chances are of her using that weapon against you? It's high. <laughs> It's yeah. very high. <laughs> and that was... Uh, oh, hmm. Gosh, Clank. Yep. Shock Give me a... What's a shock history shock check. check. Alright. This will be because Clank's been a lot K2SO. of his early years. K2SO. K2SO. He's uh, Alan Tudyk. It sucks that he died. Oh, I mean, history. With gnomes. Yeah. Literally yeah. everyone. Yeah, maybe killed everybody. Which killed people. thirteen. Everyone, even Hannibal. That's a natural twelve plus one. Oh, and also especially you have no history in this, eh? Just yeah, just your aunt's they bonus. Didn't show any other fucking box That's spies. Okay. I did not show any box and spies. You actually uh, can kind of suss out this statement. Hey, did I know what I'm doing? You can't like. <laughs> You're not fluent in Gnomish by any means. Yeah, I. But you know really enough that. to kind of be able to figure this one out. Right. Just like a pocket. <sighs> Around the big edge big. of the oval mirrory window thing in Gnomish, it states disrupting the balance is the only way to achieve true change. Okay. Now again. Uh, the door, so the space, uh, like, there's the door, there's about a, a, a 15, no, we'll say like a 30 foot square platform that goes out, then there's a 50 foot gap, and there's another kind of platform on the side, um, <clears throat> and you have the pillar in the middle, that seems to be attached from either side of, of, of the, the wall. Almost like it, it should be able to pivot somehow. Okay. Uh, you can figure that out. You're used to kind of that kind of thing. Mechanical devices and such. Um, at the top of it is a, has a transparent chamber. And then you have right on the, the wall on the platform next to the door where you came from is the oval window that looks it looks like it looks down into the clear glass chamber that's that's on the the pillar hmm. all right with that uh, and I can ask or answer any clarifying type questions that you may have uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna take a break what do you pictures? With a robot. Take a break. Throw that robot. We're back. <laughs>